The term false perception can refer to a number of things. A hallucination is a type of false perception and occurs when a person experiences sensory stimuli that are not actually present. Though everyone, at times, believes some things that are not correct, perceiving the world incorrectly can lead to health problems, especially when these perceptions are related to the person's body. In many cases, people with false perceptions have difficulty abandoning them, even when contrary and irrefutable evidence is presented. This is a recording for patient 1535. The patient's name, James Conway. James's pain and suffering is often attributed to his loss of a loved one, a girl named Rachel. He had described the happiness they shared and the forest where they would go to be with each other. But there came a point when she realised he was troubled. Okay, just go. At a point she tried helping him with his problem, but he shunned her help. So James, how do you feel when you see this picture? Love is the greatest bond between two people, two people who in equal measure feel a mutually strong attachment to one another. What reaction can be expected when life is no longer experienced with love, but only sorrow and pain? For James, his condition became exceedingly worse. My interactions with James have often been comprised of delving deeper into his mind, exploring these particular hallucinations he sees of his former self. A hallucination is a type of false perception that causes a patient to experience things that are not real to the rest of the people around them. Sounds, smells, tastes, sights and physical sensations that are not real can all be experienced during a hallucination. Patients with long-term mental health problems, such as schizophrenia, may experience these false perceptions throughout their lives though medication and therapy can help eliminate or decrease the severity of hallucinations. How do you feel when you see your past self? I feel scared. I don't want to be that man anymore. James's mind blocks all medication that can temporarily provide a solution. He either willingly doesn't want to escape from his condition and hides this behind a false persona or he already is lost but doesn't accept this. Our sessions became strenuous as they progressed further. I fear that part of him died with Rachel that day. He was able to keep fighting. Is this the true reason for James's suffering? Is it the infliction of pain he exacerbated on his own mind by reciting his memories countless times for the sole purpose of blaming himself for the death of Rachel? Or has he finally reached a stage where he no longer thinks for himself, but his mind is lost completely? Well, James, I fear my question has now been answered. <laughs>